Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another vlog. We're gonna continue where we left off on the last vlog, which had a very depressing ending, okay? Because my beautiful PC that you see on the wall has died. Oh. I'm still convinced Windows 11 bricked it because there's nothing else in this world that could have happened within that 30 minute window to take down my PC, okay? It's just nothing else makes sense. So today's Tuesday, and you guys know what that means. My motherboard is on schedule to be delivered today. The replacement board for Big Red version four. We're gonna get to the bottom of this and figure out and see if the motherboard is in fact dead after the Windows 11 update. In the meantime, I've been using my wife's PC to get some work done and you guys won't believe this. Remember when I took out the original M.2 SSD from my PC? Well, that had all my files on there. So I swapped it with my wife's PC and Guess what? The Windows 11 update was successful. So the update went through, but it took down my PC in the process. That makes absolutely no sense. All my files have been saved. The PC is running perfectly fine. There was nothing wrong with the actual files. I'm guessing there's a hardware issue that was caused from the update. I have no idea. So as I'm waiting for the board to arrive, I do wanna work on the setup just a little bit. I haven't mounted the ultrawide just yet because it's gonna be very difficult for me to reach my PC up there and take it down when there's a massive 34 inch monitor slapping you in the face. So I'm gonna keep that down there for now until the board arrives, but I do want to work on the bottom monitor, skin the bezel, and then hook it up against the headboard in the meantime. I'm gonna hook up the uh, HDMI for my wife's PC, that way I can still use the computer with the main monitor until I can fix my PC. Okay, so we're pretty much done now. The only thing left to do is just wait for the board to arrive and then we can finally complete this damn thing. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's over there. Okay, Jesus. Okay, never mind. It's here. It's finally here. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what if this doesn't even fix the problem? It's the DDR4 platform, not the DDR5. They ask you how you are, you just have to I'm just kidding, it's DDR5. Imagine they sent the wrong board, but honestly, a shout out to ASUS, specifically Kat from the PR team. You're amazing, thank you so much for your quick response. You're, you're saving me, you're saving me, honestly. No, it's gonna tilt. Oh, the bottom cable. I have to put it at an angle. Ah! Whoo! God damn! This is a bad idea. All right, so I managed to bring the PC over to the YouTube studio. We got our new board and a fresh 12900K, just in case the CPU is fried. I don't think that's the case, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the CPU is fried. Uh, Shayla is playing with the lights again. Shayla, please. Daddy's exhausted. Daddy's exhausted. Please, let me just fix my PC. Let me fix my PC today. So draining the system is gonna be a little difficult because I didn't think to put a drain valve in there. So I'm gonna have to remove one of these ports on the bottom of the pump and just let all the fluid drop down into a pan. So yeah, let's go ahead and start. This is where having a second hand would be extremely helpful right now. 
My logic behind not putting a drain valve was that I can just put the PC over a table and then put like a pan underneath to catch all the coolant underneath the pump. Since the pump is on the lowest point of the loop, I figured, you know, why add a drain valve? But now that I'm looking back, it probably should have added a drain valve. This one's really close to the power supply, so I'm a little worried about this one. Hopefully it doesn't splash into the power supply. Then we'll have another set of problems. Don't try this at home, folks. That's all I gotta say. So I'm releasing the top fill port so that air can get inside the system and kind of push some cooling out from the bottom. If I had a soft tube, I would connect it here and just kind of blow in it, but I currently don't have any. So I'm gonna have to let gravity do the trick for the most part. So basically what I'm trying to do now is disconnect the tubes and the fittings that are furthest away from the most expensive parts. So for example, you know, like the graphics card, motherboard, everything over here on this side is pretty much safe. Like I don't care if some of the coolant drips on the fans or the radiator, they're not gonna get damaged. Whereas if it drips in the motherboard, well, the motherboard's already dead, but if it drips on the GPU or the power supply, I'm pretty much screwed there. So the digital plate is always a safe bet. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. Literally just spilled from the top tube straight down. And since there's nothing in contact, we are safe. I should probably bring more paper towels. It's always a good idea. I'm actually gonna take advantage of the situation and replace the riser cable as well. This one is way too long. I took it from a uh, Lee and Lee case from a previous build and I just have way too much excess to deal with. So I'm actually gonna swap this with the cable that I picked up from Amazon. This one's much shorter. It's also PCI Gen 4 compatible. So this should do the trick just fine. All right, so I got the board out, but this entire thing is very interesting to me and I wanna to get to the bottom of this. I wanna see how deep the rabbit hole actually goes. So I don't wanna swap the board out and then have the same issue happen in the next few days or even weeks. So there has to be something that's causing a part inside my system to go bad. So we're gonna test this out real quick. I have a 2060 hooked up, a 750 watt power supply. Everything else is the same, same memory, same board, same CPU, so we're gonna try and see if we can get to BIOS. Okay, the lights are on. We're just gonna test with one stick around for now. Obviously there's no coolant inside the CPU block, but it's not going to cause any overheating issues. As long as we can get some type of message that we can get to BIOS, I'm gonna shut it off immediately. HDMI is hooked up. Actually, we can even still see the code Oh, that's true. We can still see the code, so. Are you, what? What? BIOS is updating. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Why wasn't this happening before? Oh my, I'm so freaking confused. But the motherboard's working, what? Is it the graphics card? How can it be the graphics card though? Oh, I'm so freaking confused, you guys. Oh my God, I think we just took two steps backwards, but I mean the motherboard, look at that.
The motherboard's working. Oh my, wait a minute. Is it the PCI cable? Is it the riser cable that went bad? Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta do some more testing. This is, this is interesting now. I'm so freaking confused, you guys. I'm like, I'm glad at least that the motherboard's not dead, but then it's like, so what the hell is the problem? What caused my PC to die? If it's the graphics card, I'm screwed. Let me just tell you guys that. I don't have another 3080 Ti lying around, founder's edition to swap with that one, which means I have to go online and buy it secondhand, which is gonna be more than MSRP, unfortunately, but I'm really hoping it's not the GPU, so let's do some more testing. All right, here we go, test number two, same exact test. We swap the graphics card back to the 3080 Ti without the PCI riser cable. Let's do this. I also hooked up the keyboard and mouse so we won't get that message on there. If we get to BIOS, then it is without a doubt the PCI riser cable. If we don't, it's the GPU. The GPU somehow went bad after the update, which still makes no sense. Let's look at the codes real quick, VGA. See, it passed VGA, so it's obviously not the graphics card, right? It would give me a VGA error if that's the case. CMOS error! What? Here we go again. CMOS error with the 3080 Ti founders, but we don't get an error when I put in the 2080, but that makes no sense. I'm actually even more confused now. All right, here's the final test. I took out the new board. We're still going with the 3080 Ti without the PCI riser cable and the brand new 12900K. So let's see what happens if we turn this on. I'm just trying to eliminate all possible scenarios, you guys. If this works, then I am so confused, but if we have the same CMOS error on here, then it's definitely the graphics card, without a doubt, which, which still makes no sense. The screen just flashed. Are you, are you kidding me? Oh my God, dude, what the hell is going on? This is the new board. Look, I'm not even making this up. That's the old board. This is the new board with the CPU. Why? Why is it doing this? So it's not the graphics card. Wait, what? CMOS error. All right, so same exact test, but we're going with the original 30 Ti without the PCI riser cable. Here we go. So if we get no signal this time, it is 100% without a doubt the graphics card. If we get a signal, there it is. So it was the riser cable. Oh my God. There it is the same error, post error. And I couldn't see that screen because I wasn't getting any signal to the graphics card because of the riser cable. This freaking thing killed my PC. But how did it just go bad after an update? What the hell? So it wasn't the motherboard. Oh, let me turn this off then real quick. Oh my God. I'm glad it's not the graphics card too. So it's this piece of crap from Lee and Lee. You caused me pain and suffering. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we celebrate, I have to test it with the riser cable again. So everything is back to normal, the way it was on the wall. Let's try one last time and see if this works. If this works, I'm honestly losing my mind because I didn't change anything other than taking it apart from the case. So <laughs> I'm honestly just losing my mind right now. I'm going insane. I'm going insane. I'm going insane. It's working now. Someone please send help. Someone please send help right now. I have, I'm so lost. I am so freaking lost. I did this entire thing for no reason, basically. It's the same exact components hooked up. Well, minus, you know, the cables and stuff, but. <sighs> what if it can't be a display port cable? It can't be a display port cable. Can it? <sighs> I'm so confused. I don't know what to do. It can't be the display port cable. It just can't be. It's the only thing I haven't checked. 
it's a brand new DisplayPort cable. How can that go bad? I'm sorry guys, I can't deal with this right now. I need to go get some rest. I'll try again tomorrow. Okay, Google, turn off all studio lights. Okay, Google, turn on all studio lights. So I had a good night's sleep yesterday. I'm refreshed, ready to go. I'm thinking a lot more clearly now. Um, if all my components work, which we, we just tested here at the YouTube studio, the only other possible problem is the DisplayPort cable. So what do you guys think I did? Well, I tested all the DisplayPort cables and the monitors using my wife's PC and surprise, surprise, they all work. <laughs> they all work. It wasn't a DisplayPort cable. Um, so I have no clue at this point what happened. The only thing that was different from the PC being mounted on the wall to bringing it over here was that I installed the RTX 2080 Founders Edition. That was the only thing that was swapped. And somehow after that, the PC started to work. So we're gonna do one more test with all the original components hooked up together, just as if this was against the wall. The only difference is that obviously I can't use the same power supply because that's hooked up to the case. So I put my original M.2 SSD in there with Windows 11, all four RAM sticks, same CPU, same graphics card with the PCI riser cable. I mean, everything is pretty much the same. So let's see what happens now. If this posts, then obviously all the components are working fine. Oh, I haven't checked. I haven't checked this cable. Interesting. I'm using the stock one for the Founders Edition. We'll get to that in a bit. Actually, I'll check that out next. Let's just see what happens. If we can boot to Windows 11 desktop, then I know for certain that all the parts are working as intended. So here are the error messages. We're on memory currently. Still no signal. Usually for the first, first boot, it takes a while, especially when I'm um, dealing with new components. There it is, we got the ROG logo. CPU fan speed, yep, that's... All right, so before I fill it with coolant and take it back inside and mount it on the wall, I do wanna do one final test with all the components hooked up to the power supply. The only difference is that I did swap the motherboard just in case that was faulty and also swapped the, uh, the riser cable. This does not look safe or reliable at all. Plus it's very long, so I swapped it with another PCI Gen 4 cable that I picked up from Amazon. Much shorter, looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. And yeah, let's go ahead and do this one final test. I'm hoping we get to Windows 11 without any issues, considering we literally tested everything except the power supply. If we get some sort of error. There is nothing else that it could be other than the power supply. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that earlier, but I mean, again, I didn't touch anything, guys. Within 30 minutes, a part inside of my build went bad. So if it was the cable, then it, I'm just very unlucky, unfortunately. So, so far we got nothing. We are hooked up with the HDMI cable. Hoping we get something before the CPU overheats. So we're on the CPU code. Okay, we're on VGA. Okay, this time it's taking a bit longer. Well, there's a new motherboard, so I think it has to go through the entire process again. CMOS error, are you kidding me, dude? How could I be so stupid? It was the power supply cables. I, I think it's the graphics card cable, specifically this custom 12 pin that Mainframe Customs made for me. This one goes straight into the power supply. How can this go bad? after an update. Oh my god. So this so this is it. Uh the PC just started by itself. What? Come on, dude. Okay, well um I guess let's swap this out and um see if that fixes the issue. It can't be the 24 pin, it can't be the dual 8 pin EPS, it has to be related to the graphics card, so this is the only cable that makes sense. 
It's the only cable that makes sense. So I'm using the stock power supply cable instead of the uh, custom one from Mainframe Customs. So let's see what happens. Oh, <gasps> thank you. So it was the freaking cable, it was this. This was it the entire time. I can't believe it, dude. Why didn't I even check this? Oh my God. Just for my sanity's sake, I wanna double check one more time. So I hooked up the 12 pin cable again, but from the front, just to make sure that it is in fact that cable. Yeah, there it is, post there. Wow, I can't believe it, dude. I just can't believe it. This has never happened. I've had 24 pin cables go bad. I've had eight pin, even 16 pin EPS connectors go bad. I've never had a PCI cable go bad in the 12 plus years of building PCs. That's insane, you guys. All right, it is what it is. All right, everything is back into its place. All the tubes are connected. We filled it with coolant. Here we go, the final test before we bring it inside. Big Red is playing with my heart right now. Big Red is playing with my heart so much. <laughs> I just want this PC to work, man, please. At least we know the graphics card's working because we were getting signal. Okay, okay, ROG logo. Desktop is next, please. No signal on the monitor. We'll give it some time. Not too much time, I hope. Oh, man. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Post error? It was just working. I'm pretty much losing hope at this point, you guys. Uh, I've tried everything. Just when I thought I found the solution, it turns out that's not it and it's something else. It's not. The PCI cables, it's not the riser cable, it's not the motherboard, it's not the CPU. I've swapped all that, all that out. It's a brand new 12900K, brand new board in there. I'm even using a different DisplayPort cable too. And we're getting signal to the monitor, so it can't be the graphics card. I don't even know at this point. Everything was working fine before the Windows 11 update. We do have Windows 11 still in the operating system. Maybe that's still messing with the system. That's the only thing I haven't tried. Let me just, let me do a fresh install of Windows 10, not 11, and see if that fixes the issue. If it doesn't, I'm scratching this build. I'm putting it to the side. I'm just gonna wait for the new parts to arrive and I'm gonna rebuild this entire system because honestly, at this point, I'm just, I'm just so tired. I'm fed up with it. I just need a bio screen so I can get into the boot menu so I can load. Windows 10, it's the only thing I need right now. And if we can't even get there, how the hell am I gonna do a fresh install? Um, okay, now I'm getting a different error. Load VGA BIOS, what? What does that even mean? What is that? Load VGA BIOS, it's the first time I'm getting that. And it's actually stuck on that screen and I'm getting no signal on my monitor. All right, so I basically reseeded the PCI riser cable from the graphics card and the top PCI slot. I read on the forums that that could be the possible problem or your motherboard or graphics card is dead. And I do not want to believe there. I don't want to go back there anymore. Okay, we've proven that it's not defective. We've gotten signal. We've even got to Windows 11 desktop. So I know for a fact those components are not it. I probably shouldn't have flashed the BIOS to be honest. If this, if this doesn't work, I might have to go to an older version of BIOS. I've never had that error. This is literally the first time. As soon as I flashed the BIOS, that's the first time I got that error. After the post error. This is a nightmare, dude. This is an actual nightmare. I just think Windows 11 killed my PC. That was my original guess, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me boot, give me boot. The system has posted in safe mode. I don't want safe mode. I just want to, re I just want to restart my windows, give me, give me boot menu. I think F12 is boot menu, right? Yes. See, the fact that we're even in the screen proves that the graphics card is not bad. We're getting signal from the graphics card. What do you guys think? Should I just restart and hope it goes to the windows desktop? I'm gonna take this risk and just, <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm so freaking scared, dude. Um... Let's ignore the CPU fan speed. You know what? Let's just, let's just try it one last time. 
If we can get to the desktop, I'll clear the CMOS and I will do a fresh Windows 10 Pro install on the M.2 SSD. If this does not take us to desktop, I'm just so defeated at this point, you guys. I'm so freaking defeated. Come on, please. Please, 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 please. Post error. All right, let's try a new Windows install. Wait, what? What? What the hell is going on, dude? Why would you give me a poster and take me to Windows? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. You're joking. You're actually joking. No, I don't want to freaking battle that update right now. Oh my God. I don't want to believe it. I can't believe it's working, you guys. Oh my God. I'm on my desktop screen. This is insane. We're still not out of the woods, you guys. You know, as much as I love to see the desktop screen, I still don't know what the root cause of this entire thing was. You know, what's stopping my PC from not posting as soon as I take it back inside and mount it against the wall? That is what's haunting me right now. It's very temperamental. I'm gonna be reading the comment section of uh, part one and also this video religiously to kind of see what you guys think the possible issue was. I'm really, really curious to hear your thoughts because honestly, I'm stumped at this point. I thought it was the riser cable, it's not that. I thought it was the PCI cables, it's not that. It's not the motherboard. It could be the Windows 11 update, but at this point, I don't even know. I mean, clearly we have Windows 11 still. Oh my God, I thought it froze. I thought it froze, oh my God. Yeah, no, we're fine. Oh my God. Uh, I'm gonna do some testing. I'm gonna turn the PC off, restart it, turn it off, restart it, just to see if I can replicate the issue. If everything is good, I'm gonna take it back inside and mount it against the wall. God, I hope this doesn't go bad. Well, it didn't take long for that to happen. Exactly one restart later, and we're back to the VGA BIOS error. At this point, I wasn't just giving up on my PC, but life itself. I tried one more pathetic attempt at fixing Big Red by swapping the riser cable back to the original to see if that will fix the issue. I don't know about you guys, but swapping the riser cable while the tubes are still connected proved to be very challenging, but I didn't care at this point. If something went wrong and it started leaking, I would have just accepted my fate. After 10 minutes of struggling, I was able to remove the riser cable and install the original one safely. I didn't hesitate to hit the power button, already expecting to be let down. But something unexpected happened. At my lowest point in life, I was blessed with light at the end of the tunnel. My PC booted to the desktop without any issues. I was very hesitant in celebrating just yet as I knew the same fate was waiting around the corner. So I restarted the PC to see if it was still working fine and that I wasn't dreaming. I did it again, and again. 10 full restarts and five power downs later, I was still getting into the desktop without any issues. I can't explain the sensation that I was feeling at this point. Puzzled, yet relieved. Could the new riser cable been defective? At this point, I was exhausted trying to figure out the answer. So I powered down the PC one last time, disconnected the cables, and took it back home where we mounted it back on the wall once again. I took one deep breath, and hit the power button. Anxiety, excitement, sadness, frustration, happiness. A tsunami of emotions were flowing through me as I wait patiently for what felt like an eternity. At last, Big Red version 4 lives. All three monitors have signal and we have made it to our final destination, the Windows 11 desktop screen. So this was the culprit all along, it seems. The PCI 4.0 riser cable from LinkUp. But there still remains a mystery. What caused the PC to malfunction after the Windows 11 update? A mystery that still remains unsolved.